Hello there, chaps. I'm Andy Carl, and you're watching the Broadway.com show. Live from London. Welcome to the Broadway.com show, your weekly roundup of all the awesome theater scoop to keep you in the know. Or as we like to think of it, the people who will have You Can't Stop the Beat stuck in their heads for the next 104 days. So here's a big thank you for that, Hairspray Live. Let's get started with the news. What's the buzz, Imogen? The much buzzed about new musical, Come From Away, which follows a group of travelers stranded on 9-11, will begin performances on February 18, 2017. The production is set to officially open on March the 12th at a Schubert Theatre to be revealed in due course. Meanwhile, significant other Joshua Harmon's play about a single life in the city will kick off rather aptly on Valentine's Day at the Booth Theatre. Opening night is scheduled for March the 2nd. We'll see if the main stem falls head over heels for both productions. Get ready to attend the tale again. Stephen Sondheim and Hugh Wheeler's Sweeney Todd is heading off Broadway next year. The production is coming to New York City direct from London, where it debuted at Harrington's Pie and Mash Shop. Directed by Bill Bucker, Sweeney Todd will play the Barrow Street Theatre, which will be reconfigured to resemble a traditional pie shop. The musical thriller is the story of a vengeful barber who teams up with a gruesome baker to turn his customers into meat pie. And in this new production, pie and mash will be served before the show though we're hoping it won't be Mrs. Lovett's recipe. Sweeney Todd will begin performances on Valentine's Day and opening night is set for March 1st, 2017. Get ready for some exciting casting news that'll get you itchy with anticipation. First off, Fiddler on the Roof leading lady Jessica Hutt will headline Arthur Miller's The Price at the Roundabout Theater's American Airlines Theater in the spring, opposite two stage pros who are currently killing it on TV. The Night Of's John Turturro and Brain Dead's Tony Shalhoub. Over in Lola Land, YouTube sensation Todrick Hall, who has created some of the funniest viral videos of the last few years, will join the cast of Kinky Boots as Lola on November 1st. Off-Broadway's Keen Company will bring back the Jonathan Larson musical Tick Tick Boom starting October 4th, which will star Nick Blamier and Sierra Renee. And finally, fans of Handsome Funny Men are cheering the news that Saturday Night Live alum Jason Sudeikis will make his New York stage debut in the world premiere of Dead Poet Society at the Classic Stage Company starting October 27th. The national tour of Fun Home is hitting the road this fall, and the residents of that house on Maple Avenue have officially been cast. Robert Petkoff will lead the tour as Bruce Bechdel, alongside Kate Schindel as Allison, and Susan Moniz as Helen Bechdel. They'll be joined by Abby Corrigan as Medium Allison, Alessandra Baldacino as Small Allison, Karen Eilbacher as Joan, Robert Hager as Roy, Lennon Nate Hammond as John, and Pearson Salvador as Christian. The touring production of Janine Tesori and Lisa Crone's Tony-winning musical will be directed by Tony winner Sam Gold, who will restage his In the Round Broadway production for theaters with traditional proscenium stages. Fun Home will close on the main stem on September 10th, but don't despair for days and days, because the national tour will kick off on October 2nd in Cleveland, Ohio. Lin-Manuel Miranda is a part of Disney's world now. After penning songs for The Mouse House's Moana and appearing in the upcoming Mary Poppins sequel, the Tony winner will join forces with Alan Menken to write tunes and adapt some familiar ones for a new live-action version of The Little Mermaid. Wicked producer Mark Platt is set to take charge of the project alongside Miranda. No word yet on when the new film will hit the big screen, but we'll be heading under the sea with you when it does. Hello, I'm Nick Rulo, and you're watching the Broadway.com show. Woo! Is that a late August heat wave we're feeling, or just this week's hot shot? Michael Campano first melted our hearts as Rolf in NBC's The Sound of Music Live, but as Wicked's newest Fiero, he is straight up scorching them. Broadway.com photographer Caitlin McNaney snapped the Pittsburgh native, giving his very best Winky Prince Smolder at Bar 9 in NYC for his fresh face shoot, and we are spellbound. Feel free to stare at the photo for as long as you like, and then go catch Campano in those signature white pants at the Gershwin Theatre ASAP. As we wind down the lazy days of summer, we decided to ask readers which fall Broadway shows have them most excited about getting back in the swing of things. Here's how they voted. At number five, the musical adaptation of A Bronx Tale, which starts November 3rd at the Long Acre Theatre. Holiday Inn, the new musical starring Bryce Pinkham, Laura Lee Geyer, and our new video blogger, Corbin Blue, is in the number four spot. Check in at Studio 54 starting September 1st. Josh Groban has fans excited for the number three show, Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812. This epic romance kicks off October 18th at the Imperial Theater. 
Readers can't wait to see four Jews in a room bitching when William Finn's Falsetto starts at the Walter Kerr Theater on September 29th, starring Christian Borle, Stephanie J. Block, and Andrew Rannells. And the number one most anticipated show of fall is Dear Evan Hansen, the acclaimed off-Broadway transfer featuring an epic leading performance by Ben Platt. Evan is moving into the Velasco Theater, taking the stage on November 14th. Thank you for watching this week's episode of the Broadway.com show. We'll leave you with Adina Menzel slaying with her brand new video, Queen of Swords, which is from her self-titled album coming out on September 23rd. See you next week.